welcome to Brick Squad! And today we'll be revealing the Phantom. This has 269 pieces. It's set 75170. And it's really, really cool and I really like it. It looks like the one in the in the TV show. It's from Star Wars Rebels. It's and now let's talk about the box. Basically every feature that we just just discussed is on the back. You have the, it shows right here, you push that back and then that fires, cargo horror doors, and that the roof pops up. So all of this, they want you to know about, and here's the instruction booklet. It's basically just the instruction of how to build this. Here's some of the other ones that came out that, some of them are Rogue One, some of them aren't, some of them are just, Stuff that came out with the series, with the Rogue One stuff. And here is one of the special features. Uh, here's the cockpit. It has those minifig slider plates right in there. And it just makes it really easy. Looks like Lego's using that technique now. You can just slide minifigs in. They also did that for the Ewing. And this plate right here is the only print in the set, but that's the normal plate that they use for everything now. Instead of just printing new stuff for all of the ships, they just have that. We've got a bunch of them back there on all our auto controls. And I just thought all ships should have their own different controls. And I just, I, don't, I really don't like that. This is the, this is another feature. It's a cargo door and it has some stolen cargo in here right there. You can see that it's Imperials right there, so it must be stone cargo. And in here we have we have Kanan's lightsaber in half and two a bomb. It also has these spring-loaded shooters on the back with the cargo. See that right? The yellow lever and the yellow lever. You just pull that sideways, and then they just shoot out. This is Chopper and he goes in right here. It's a little uneven and you have those two uh, uh, pieces, those two by two pieces with one stud and he just fits in right there. Oop, oop, beep, oop, 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 I am Chopper. These are the legs for the landing gear. You just pop them out and they're just, fold up like that. It's kind of hard to position them exactly how you want them because they're kind of just like wiggly jiggly all over the place. But they're really, really cool and I really, really like them. And yeah, it's kind of hard to get them to stand up, but that's the best I could do. It's over the ground, but it still looks like it's touching. This set comes with three minifigures, and here is Kane and Jiris. He's holding a detonator with his lightsaber and with his blind mask. When you take off his hair slash mask, you can see that he has his wide eyes and he's kind of smiling. But shouldn't there be a giant scar there? Because he uh, was slashed by Darth Maul. Maybe it healed back with the force, but no one knows. Here's the back. He kind of is. He kind of has like a little hoodie printed on there, and just his belt with a little uh, uh, hitch that he could hook stuff on. This is Grand Admiral Thrawn. He ha He's basically blue. He's kind of like a Cad Bane type person, but he kind of has a darker blue, and he has a dark blue hair. He has a white suit and golden shoulders and a bunch of awards. He has a black belt with a silver strap on him and he was originally in the Star Wars books after the movies, but then, I don't really remember his name. Oh, Grandma Tarkin kind of like stole the show and he came back in Rebels, which is really exciting. The back of him is basically just white and you can see on the shoulders more of the print, the gold printing. 
And in the show, he has gold shoulder platings and just the black belt. And he doesn't really have that much printing on the back. This is Chopper. He's based, he's just a droid. He was in the other Phantom set. He's really, really funny in the show. So like, meh, 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 meh. And he had, he's basically just a, a regular R2 droid. And on the back of him, he doesn't really have much except the more of the head printing. He doesn't really have anything on the back. And he, he's, I really, really like him. In the show, he's really funny. And Zed's always just like clocking him and calling him names. And he's like, wah, wah, wah. Here are all three of the minifigs. They're really, really cool. I like all of them. Here is the Here's the ghost and the old phantom. So let's see if the new phantom fits with it. You see that this one fits. It's really cool, it unfolds. But we're not reviewing that phantom. We're reviewing this phantom and let's see if it fits. Okay. Boop. It does fit, but it, it looks really, really big compared to the other one and compared to the ghost. It's really, really cool, I like it, and the minifigs. I really like everything about this set. That's my review of the Phantom. I like the two minifigs, exclusive minifigs, the amount of pieces. The price was really, really good on this. I love all the colorful stickers. Sabine must have painted this in the show. I haven't watched that episode where the old Phantom crashes. I got the new Phantom. My dad will probably let, that wa let me watch that episode. And uh, I really, really like the set. I mean, I'd give it a 6.4 out of overall score because it doesn't really fit in the ghost as well as the old Phantom. And it has more pieces and it, and it, it weighs more. I mean, it's about the same price as the old Phantom, but, and I really, really like it. And if you like this video, please live Give a like or subscribe, tell your friends. If you want to see more uh, speed builds and reviews, just give a comment below and we'll see you next time. On Brick Squad!